Yeah, it is. Like, <clears throat> it's great to see the guys doing well and all the work they put in over uh, the last three or four weeks and even the last year uh, to come into that and get the first one against New Zealand on home soil. Um, I'd obviously love to be involved, but um, yeah, it's great to see the team doing well. Uh, it is frustrating, but I don't think it would be normal if I wasn't frustrated. Um, all I can do is uh, put my best foot forward when I do get a chance, um, and hopefully um, Joe will see that. What's Joe said that he's looking from you know when you guys began his new kind of press and even one on one um, to kind of gauge what he'd be looking for you to say this weekend. Uh, I haven't had a chance one on one to speak to him about my uh, performance, but um, yeah, I think he's just looking for us to be clinical and bring the same sort of edge that we brought over the last three tests and um, not let the level drop and let our standards drop going into this game. Yeah, exactly. Is that a big thing this weekend, you know, to sign off 2018? Yeah, um, I think sign off 2018 with a with a bit of buying and get out there with the win. Um, just I think just bring the same sort of performances they brought against Argentina and New Zealand. They can't let it drop from what it was last week. Sorry, Ben. Uh, yeah, it is. It's obviously going to be diff slightly difficult. Yeah, it's hard to get those combinations right. But um, we've we've been training together basically for three or four weeks on uh, sort of the second string team, uh, most of us. So uh, with Gary slotting in obviously beside us. But yeah, it's just you have to make do with it. I think all the guys can slot in anywhere in the squad. Um, everybody has to be ready to step up to the play step up to the mark if they're needed. If you look at Will um, a couple of weeks ago against Argentina. He came at 24th man, did a great job at 13, but he probably wasn't expecting to be playing that day, and I think that's what Joe expects from everyone. Probably being the, the impressive part of that, I think, for you is, is how sort of have to keep chopping James and Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, you look at even Farrell last year coming in, playing well in Six Nations. Um, I think I've done a decent job when I've been there, and then you obviously got the three, Bundy, Robbie and um, Ringer in there, who've been doing really well when they've been there. Um, well, I'm not really versatile. I just play twelve, but I think uh, those three are all very versatile. I think I think it's more the system. I think everybody <clears throat> knows their job, and knows their role. Even if uh, even if you're not playing, I knew exactly if I had had to be called in for a game last minute. I think I would have slotted in well. And even Sam's come in the last couple of weeks, and he's been slotting in everything really well. I think everybody comes in um, <clears throat> after a couple of days. You know exactly what you're meant to be doing, and that makes it easy for you to slot in when you have to. Um, yesterday was more of a, an easy day just to walk through to get a lot of new faces in the team obviously just slotting in so just making sure everybody knew the role and then today was just a normal training day back to back to work really uh, get a good head out I imagine with Six Nations World Cup all on the rise as well it's really important from an individual point of view to take any opportunity you get between now and then <sighs> yeah yeah it is I'm just haven't really thought that far ahead I'm just sort of thinking about this week and going to put my best foot forward um Obviously, I'm a bit down the pecking order at the minute, but uh, and the guys ahead of me are doing really well, so it's going to take it would take a lot for me to push them out of the way. Out of the way but uh, hopefully, I'm there if someone gets injured. Um, Johnny Sexton and Owen Barrett seem to be a bit of a head for the World Player of the Year, but what is it about Sexton that maybe gives him the slight edge, or what have you seen over the last year compared to Owen They're very different players, I think. I think Johnny runs a game. Oh, this is just me looking from the outside, but I think Johnny runs the game really well, gets the team moving a lot better than Boom Barrett does. Boom Barrett is, you put him in a bit of space, the pace, he's, he's obviously got a lot more flair, I think, but I think Johnny sort of manages the team better, in my opinion. What's your, have you had any dealings with him in training? Any, has he come over to you at any stage to give you any tips or advice since you've been uh, with, with Ireland? Not, not really, no. I think at the start, when it came in, maybe, what was that, three years ago, um, uh, we had a lot more dealings then, but... Uh, I think if I ever needed anything, he'd be there to for me to ask him. But uh, I haven't had you know, not this camp anyway. Is there an aura, a fear factor around the players prepared to go up to him and ask him things? Or oh yeah, yeah. Johnny would. I think Johnny would happily help you out if you wanted to go up and ask him something. But uh, I think most guys uh, know the rules pretty well from just Joe getting to learn them. And if Johnny has we intricacies he wants you to run, he'll tell you. Do you think you become a better player just from your involvement in, in these camps over the last few years? 
Um, definitely. Well, I think I'm a better player than I was two or three years ago. So I think the this these camps have a lot to do with it. I think um, everybody's level raises here, and if you see how well the team's doing now. Um, it sort of shows. I don't think there was ever a ban. I think um, Joe was just <coughs> quite high on sort of <coughs> ball security. So I think it's knowing when to throw that offload and not through the silly ones, maybe. Um, that's something I've taken into my game. I know it's offloading is a big part of my game, but uh, I think I don't throw as many silly ones now as I maybe did when I was a bit younger. Just follow up with that. Has Dan McFarland really pushed that this year? I, I thought I'd noticed Munster trying a lot more offloads. Jason Tanger said specifically, is that part of his game plan that we're going to try this on? Ah, uh, he's maybe mentioned it uh, in the preseason a bit, but no, he doesn't. I think he's just happy for you to play your own game, and uh, he's happy for me and Jacob to attempt that. I think if we get over, if it's a good carry, the the offload's not like usually there. It's not if you're getting smashed in contact. There's no point in doing the bad offload when you're going backwards. Um, but yeah, Dan Dan would always say to go go for it if it's on. When I was watching it, I didn't even realize. I sort of forgotten that he had tried that one like two minutes before. It was only afterwards that people were saying, oh, he tried that chip. And if Karen Reid had picked that, I don't know how he dropped it. But uh, no, that's Jacob for you. He's got confidence from him and I him at the minute. Thanks a million for watching. If you want to subscribe, well, there's the button right there. If you want to see more videos, hit that down there.